Welcome back to Take Creek Ranch. Today we're starting layout for foundation and initial phases of construction for our, uh, I guess we're gonna call it our home, our house, our cabin. It's gonna be a little structure that goes right here. Well, we've got this tree that's right in the way. So we're gonna be cutting that down here. Gonna use the excavator as a little assistance because I gotta hit that hole right between those two batten boards. We kinda got ourselves a little ahead of the game here. So we're gonna make sure to follow that tree right between those, hopefully not hit them, and if we do, well, I guess we can always put them back up. But anyway, we're gonna knock this tree down and uh, get going. get to auger in here we're going to be putting in post and piers for this build here um, we're roughly calculating we haven't had soil engineers on this but we're roughly calculating between 1500 and 2000 pound per square foot load capacity of this soil here we'll know more once we get into it we got roughly 40 I think we got 42 piers that are gonna go under this little cabin and uh, we're gonna go down to a minimum of 24 inches deep a 10 to 12 inch thick footing with a 10 inch sauna tube on top of it to come above grade which will land a post in two on top of that so we're going to get going here start drilling holes and uh, get this build started <laughs> All right, we got her drilled. It's uh, it's pretty rocky. Uh, not bad, not bad, but still rocky enough. You know, you get a lot of auger drift. You come in, hit a rock, the auger jumps over, and you're kind of chasing the hole down, trying to keep it, you know, to where you're not having to do too much hand work. So what we do in that situation, you just kind of keep augering until you have an oversized hole. That way you don't have to do a whole bunch of hand work, but I think we got them in. We got 42 holes now, and uh, we're gonna get them cleaned out, get the strings set again and and then we'll take and make sure everything's dialed in lined up we will pour footing in the hole put some number four rebar with some j's on it All right, Elliot's putting the final blade on the top here, a little trowel. A little trowel work, we got them 48. Got five eighths all thread in it with a uh, sheer strength, 15, just over 15,000 pounds each, which I guess works out to, what, 700 and some thousand pounds, 720,000. We got this done. This was kind of a pain in the butt, hillside, but you know. We got her. So looking forward to the next step. Well, we got 
got some timber cut today. There we go. That's a pretty nice stack of six by sixes. Um, we bought these logs, but you know, it goes fast. We got a good crew, getting a lot done. Nice job. What we got here is a template and he's just going to take and put the drill bit through it to mark. Boom, made a mark, pulled the template, complete drilling that out. And we're going to put one of these on every footing. That'll keep us from getting rot, start creeping up in our, uh, we got Southern yellow pine posts. I'll also probably spray the base of all the posts with some copper to further prevent any sort of rot. So here we go, finally getting going on it. small thread this is how we're joining our girders together all right the boys are getting this tied together we got our bolt in there we're gonna bring this down we got to go in another you know inch and a half good because we need to take, take some weight off it Ellie. boom look at that these young bucks are pretty good we're gonna pull these together nope wrong way Oh, hold on a sec. Oh, you guys have a rock in there to stop it? I, I put the rock in there. Rock in. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Cuss, that is high tech. There we go. Slid right in. All right. Right here. Good. Let's see. We're going to have to ream, I'm sure. Let's ream it. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Keep going, Elliot. Keep going. Bolt. Yep. Boom. All right. Muy bueno. There you go. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Take a glove. Take a glove,
Yeah, don't step on those on the uh, left side. They'll go. You'll be gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks for it.